Hey everyone. <clears throat> Alright, so I said I would uh, show you the inside of the tent, and here it is. So, I have my my little light up there, and currently right now, I have the little propane stove going. turned on to like its lowest setting right now and it's really warming this place up and it actually feels good I, I can actually go down to the t-shirt right now um, I'm not stupid I've got both vents open um, and I'm not gonna leave it on at night when I'm sleeping um, I'll be all tucked in the sleeping bag but it's actually pretty cold right now it's down it keeps dropping down so it's in the 40s now it's supposed to be 33 overnight out here so <clears throat> it's gonna be cold like I said I hate being cold so anyway, let's go over a tent. So I don't understand the design in the door. There's actually two doors that open. So you got the smaller one. And you got the, you know what? I just figured that out. Sorry. So this one here, obviously, is, has um, the, the screen. So that's why that's there. Duh. Okay, so it has two zippers on each side and that's actually pretty cool it's a two-man tent i guess if you had somebody else in here you could uh you know one person can get out this side and the other person can get out this side and so it's pretty good but um it does have little pockets here in the corners um if you want to store your wallet or whatever then it has this little piece here if it'll zoom in or if it'll all right so it has this little like cargo net thing here up at the top that you can you can clip in but yeah, uh, seems to be a pretty good tent. I don't know like how much heat it's going to retain overnight. I don't think any like any cold weather tent um, is actually going to keep you because it's still you know the the whatever temperature it is outside is going to. I don't understand why my camera keeps zooming. There we go, or it keeps uh, going out of focus. But out of focus again. Anyway, um, let's try this again. I fixed the problem, so I guess it was the light level, but I got my light on now, so you can see a lot better the inside of the tent. So there's, there is the, the flap for the vent, and it's getting cold again because I turned that off. I'm trying to straighten up things so I can get the sleeping pad put in here. <clears throat> so I've got all my gear kind of stashed here in the corner now. Got my phone charging. It's actually plugged in here. So uh, it's plugged into this battery pack right now. And I got all my food over here, kind of <laughs> scattered around in a mess right now. But um, so remember, my bags are pretty much full. So I'm just going to have to kind of, I don't know, play it by ear there as far as I got to eat first. That's first and foremost. I haven't uh, really ate that much today. I ate breakfast. But uh, kind of run out of energy, so I will uh, consume some of that tonight. Trash. But what I wanted to show you was, this is in my intro video. And I always show this, or it always comes up in the intro video. And I've been kind of excited. I got this uh, a long time ago. It was one of the first things I bought. So um, I'm not going to call it an unpacking video because I don't do those. But I'm going to go ahead and open it, and then uh, I'll do... I'll do a review on it as far as, um, you know, how easy it is to inflate and if it goes flat overnight and the comfort of it. It has a pillow built in, so uh, we'll see. So I will be back. Let me take it out of the package. All right, so I'm trying to do this in a limited space. It looks pretty big in here, but really <laughs> not a whole lot. So that's why I wanted to cool off that burner because I didn't want to, like, have this thing inflate and then... Um, accidentally touch that burner and put a hole in it 
so let's see here. All right, this is obviously, I'm gonna close this right now, simply because uh, it looks like it should be closed. You know what, maybe I should read the directions on that because that feels like one of those plugs, once you get it in there, it's a son of a bitch to get out. But there's gotta be, how the hell is he supposed to inflate it? He's supposed to be able to just blow it up. This thing takes a pump, I'm gonna be so pissed. Let's see, this goes. That's a one-way valve. I should be able to just let's see. Yeah, it's a one-way valve this way, so I should be able to just blow through that and then cover it up. That's gotta be how it goes. So like I said, I will never read instructions unless it really gets to the point where I need to read instructions. Alright, so actually where's my no. Hold on. I, forgot. I keep forgetting I have this damn thing. I bought it exactly for this. And so it's sitting right here outside in the cold, feeling neglected. Whew, man, I sure just let a lot, of, a lot of cold air in. All right, so let me set this up and then I'll be right back. All right, so. I'm back, got it set up, and let's see if we can put some air in this thing. Come on, you. I feel like it needs to go down further. Yeah, it does. Oh. There we go. All right, so I've got it cinched all the way down. I don't know if you see that or not. But anyway, so this is opened up. You cinch it down. And I'm assuming you blow on this part here. And I don't know how the hell I'm going to get that back out of there to freaking get the air out. That's gonna... oh. So hopefully it's pretty durable where um, you trying to pull this up and you're gonna rip it all right let's see i hope i'm doing this right because it would really suck if i wasn't doing it right and uh you see all right i guess that's not too bad i gotta keep it down though all right here we go Thank God I wasn't trying to do this when I was all dizzy earlier. That wouldn't have been good at all. So, it's actually getting hard to blow up right now. Um, it's almost fully inflated. Oh, 
I think that's it. So the nice thing is it has that little valve in there to keep the air from coming out, but it actually feel good. So I am on a little bit of an incline here, so this pillow. See, you see it does have a pillow built in, so which is nice because I didn't have to uh, pack a pillow. I'll put this down here. little air pockets in here and you see how comfortable it is keep this stuff out of my pocket all right it's not too bad um, I don't know how comfortable I'll be because it does still have flat spots like if you're laying flat on it if you're actually laying flat um, it supports your whole body and it doesn't feel too bad but when you lay on your side eh, it's, not, it's not horrible I mean for uh, a lightweight packable sleeping uh, sleeping bag it, not too bad, so put you over here. See, not horrible. So I will tell you how my back feels in the morning. <laughs> and the next thing I want to open up is this super expensive, freaking. I say super expensive. It was like it was a hundred and something dollars, less than a hundred and ten. So. But for me, for a sleeping bag, that's expensive. And if you didn't know, I'm not sponsored. I'm not... Put it in front of here. Sorry about that. So I am not sponsored. So apparently it covers, comes with a cover for the end, which is nice. Keep the rain and dirt out. Um, anyhow, yeah, I'm not sponsored, so, you know, I have to save up and buy everything myself. And uh, it, money's not always there for that, right? I'm sure you guys can agree with that. Especially when I've got all that camping gear at home. The regular camping gear from just camping gear over the years that I've accumulated. But I had to buy all new stuff to do this because everything's got to be lightweight. And packable. Alright, so the bag is I don't know if that's a nylon. It's it's got kind of like a sticky, rubbery... Uh, well, I don't know if it's rubbery. That's the wrong word. But it's it's got a slick cover. And it feels like it's pretty durable, so... Um, so it's called the Terra Hiker. And like I said, it's down. You've seen the tag earlier, so... Here's the tag. And it's supposed to be good to negative 3 degrees. Camera's on that side. So we will test that out tonight because, uh, as you know, I hate being cold. So, yeah, the, the actual bag is made out of that same material. It's like a, I don't know what that is. It's kind of feels like a, <laughs> it's funny, it actually kind of feels like a plastic trash bag. Like one of the big plastic trash bags is the same material that it's made out of. I mean, a, a quality trash bag, but um, it is a mummy sack, so you find the zipper here. So here's the zipper. And 
opened up. Yeah, so compared to some of the other uh, down sleeping bags there are, this one's not horribly priced, but like I said, it was still, for my budget, it was still kind of pricey considering I had to buy all the other stuff I was buying too. Alright, and it is super packable because it's stretching all out, as you can see. So... myself in here real quick and see how it feels. Eh. I'm all dirty. My clothes are dirty. I really don't want to get in there. It's dirty clothes, so let me let me change my mind on that. I'm a I'm a ooh, static electricity. You hear that? A lot of static electricity. It shocked me actually. Alright, so I tell you what, you see me open it, and I'm not going to get in it right now. Alright, so you see me open it. I'm not going to get in right now because my clothes got dirt all over them, and I don't want to get in there and sleep in there with dirty clothes. So, I brought, um, I've got my thermals on underneath here, uh, my, my base layer, so that's what I'll be sleeping in tonight. Dirty clothes coming off, um, but I'll let you know how it was in the morning along with the sleep pad and I'm kind of curious to see if this thing's going to go flat. So, all right. Um, I guess it's uh, it's a Netflix night for me tonight and I'm going to be eating. So that's probably all that I'll be uh, I'll be posting tonight and I'll get back with this tomorrow. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye. Good morning everyone. So it's day two of the bike packing at Sunrise Mountain. Just woke up.